Okay, this is going to be the last tutorial to finish up on your, um, your door topper drawings. Okay, and the final tutorial is going to be um, the tutorial on how to use the um, how to create text in your image. So, um, you know, it's real easy to create text. Um, so, you know, at this point now, you should be done with outlining your drawing. Um, finishing your coloring. Um, you know, now I'm not gonna really finish my drawing itself because um, you know I don't want to waste the time to do that. But the next step that you want to do is you want to open your layers window and you want to lock your color layer and your outline layer. Okay, now you shouldn't need to make any more changes if you are done with these two layers. But if you ever need to make corrections. You know, just unclick the or click on the lock, and I'll unlock it, and you can make changes to um, you know parts of your drawing. Okay, now you're gonna create a um, so you know make sure you're highlighting the outline layer, and you're gonna create a new layer. So you're gonna create a new layer above the outline, and you want to title this layer as your text. Okay, and this layer here, um, you're gonna put your text um, in this layer. So you know, you just want to make sure when you're using these layers, um, just be real organized with what you're doing. Um, you know, I like to have the text on one layer, outline all, color, and the rough draft, etc. Okay, so, you know, originally if I open up my rough draft, uh, I have words in here and um, over, um, on the bottom too. So, on the bottom I have my name, and then the university is in the other box. So, you know, this gives me an idea of um, where I'm going to put these things. Now, you're going to um, click on the Type Tool. Okay, and click on the Type Tool. And this is where you're going to start to make your letters. So just click and drag and create a box with uh, your letters. Okay, so now I'm in my box. You know, click and drag, make a box. Um, yeah, I, I, it's easier, it's better to make a box all the way from one end to the other. And this is where I'm going to put my name, so I'm just going to put Dave Juan. <clears throat> okay, and then um, I'm going to uh, click, uh, click on my selection tool. And, um, okay, so my text is in that box now. Now, obviously, your text here, you know, I want to make it bigger, I want to center it. And in order to do all those different things, you're going to want to. Um, Click your want we'll to look for your type window. So it should look something like this. But if this window doesn't pop up, you go to Windows and you go under your type and you click on characters. Okay, now this is checked off because it's already on my menu. And um, you know this is where you can start to pick the font that you want to use for your um, your picture. Okay, now I want to, you know, make sure I find a font that stands out, you know, that'll look interesting. So uh, maybe I'll use this, uh, let me scroll up more. Maybe I might want to use capitals. Let's just take a look at how capitals looks. Okay, so that's going to change the, um, the font. And then um, this one here, the numbers, that's going to change your size. Now there's already preset sizes for your, um, your font. And uh, you know you can use these presets, or if you want, you can adjust it with the um, the nozzle to the left. All right, so I think this is a pretty good size here. Um, and again, you can move the text around. If you click on the selection tool and use your arrow key, you can move it down. So I'm just moving it down, up and down for now. Now um, you can also center this type as well. Uh, you want to click on paragraph. And you can click on the um, align center, or you can um, you can click this one too. I'm gonna click this here, and now I have my type centered on the page. Okay, so you know I think this looks good as it is. Uh, you can change the colors of your type, so you just gotta highlight the. Um, or actually, no, you just click on the selection tool again. Okay, select the type, and go to the very top menu, and this is where you can start changing your um, your colors. Okay, or you can actually change the fill here. You know, maybe I make it red. Maybe I might want to make this an outline of a black all the way around. I guess I can't change the stroke of it. All right, it looks like some some ways you can you can change the strokes and you can't. Um, I guess this one I can't. Oh, never mind. 
Okay, you just want to click on that stroke there, and you should be able to change it. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> oh, I, okay, I, I was kidding around, haha. -ha. So, you just want to click on the color here. Okay, originally it was on none, but if you click on color here, you can create a stroke, you can create an outline around your, um, your name. So, you know, if you want to do that, you can. Um, I'm not really particularly fond of it. I'm just going to keep it uh, regular. So I'm going to flip it around, make this black, and I'm going to take that away. Okay, so I'm going to add my font there. And then, um, you know, I'm going to click on the type tool again, make a box. And I'm just going to put Towson University, because that's what was in originally in my picture. Now, um, you know, it's going to use the same font you had before. I'm going to make this um, a bit smaller. Towson University. Okay, and one other thing too, when you're choosing your um, your fonts, okay, you want to make sure the font goes well with um, your image or what you're trying to display. So, you know, this. You know, these Eagle door toppers, you know, they demonstrate college readiness and, um, you know, you want to be professional with it. So, um, you know, I feel like this font here looks very professional. So that's the, that's the reason why I'm using this particular font. You know, it looks very professional and it, it pops out. Okay, and that's, that's pretty much the tutorial for the text. Um,